Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So, um, the last video you guys saw, we're having an issue where we're losing the ignition timing and first gear was dropping from 22 degrees of timing to um, 4 degrees of timing. And in second gear, it was going from 20 degrees to 18 degrees um, for their inspection and everything and all that. We believe it is the distributor. So we're going to be getting a distributor for it soon. I think I have another one. I got to look around and the parts room are up in the attic or something. But I believe I have another distributor for this. So we got to get that figured out. And then I want to go ahead and do the cam seal, crank seal, oil pan, all that stuff there to know it's good. I know for sure that cam seal is leaking. I don't know if the crank seal is leaking because it's wet down there. But I don't know if it's just leaking down. But it's getting all back there. You can kind of see a puddle sitting right there. So we got to address that as well. I have a customs car I'm working on now. So after we get done with that, we'll be messing with this. And also the homie Dustin's up on his way here and stuff. I'm gonna talk to him about the powder coating for the giveaway, which obviously you guys know Bradley won the giveaway. It was the only one that entered this time, guys, which makes me not want to do the giveaways anymore, you know, because I wanted to help people. You know, I'm not making any money on the giveaway. Literally, every penny I get from the giveaway is going to Dustin for the powder coating. So I'm just trying to reach out to you guys and do more for you guys. So I really want to keep up with these monthly giveaways. So let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in still doing this. If not, then I won't. We'll just keep busting out content on the cars and everything. Um, when he went back and checked out the log, the car did hit 17 pounds and popped a coupler. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's that. So I'm going to do some sensors and stuff on this. I got it all right here. So I'm going to do crank sensors and cam sensors, VVT sensors, all that on this car. And like I said, Dustin's on his way up here. And then... Um, I got the bumper down from the attic, so we're going to mess with this a little bit, try and get it fitted on the car. You guys know I got the rear bumper and the hood for the car. So, yeah. And I'm going to get rid of that hood exit for the wastegate because I really don't want to do it because I don't want to cut a hole in another hood. So, you guys see, we had the wastegate and then for the latches, which I'm going to redo the latches on it for sure. And then clean up the shop. Big cleaning needs to happen. This thing... This place is disgusting, it's horrible. I need to organize it. I wanna get like a five gallon bucket and then all my bolts and stuff like that I'll throw in buckets. Um, I would like to go through them eventually and organize like the Mexican imports, you know, like the Honda ones and my Chevy ones, stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, just a bunch of stuff that needs to be just organized, cleaned up in here, cleaned and organized, all that, you know here a bunch of stuff you know i got the lip kit i gotta get cleaned up all that you know so just a bunch of stuff that needs to be happening that hasn't been happening that i've been slacking on but i'm gonna step my game up and get it here i'm pushing to have them come do the lights um because the lighting in here obviously isn't the best so uh, pick up the camera when Dustin gets here and we'll go from there yes sir the hero three all right guys so we got the homeboy Dustin up in here you know he wants to hear the old single jingle. In person. In person, you know? So I'm trying to show him the ways, you know what I'm saying? So we can go ahead and start up the accord real quick. Alright guys, so Dustin went and took off and everything. Me and him were talking about a few plans and a few things going on um, with the giveaway for another giveaway and car stuff, future stuff, things like that. So stay tuned. A lot's gonna be happening. But right now, I went out and got me some food. I gotta go get parts for the car out there I'm working on. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and tear this up real quick. Got me my Marta. And we'll get to it. So definitely gotta get the shop cleaned up too. So a lot going on. Ruben, my daddy's boy.
You hanging out? Are you hanging out? Hmm? Guys, when was the last time you seen this car with a bumper on it? <laughs> it got funny. But, yeah. Put the front bumper on the Accord to get off the ground. So, it's just pretty much sitting on there. It's not really connected, but, yep. Turn the car around so when I work on it, have some more lighting to work on it. But, yeah, we're getting so cleaned up in here. But, bunch of stuff. Bunch of, bunch of junk. A lot of the stuff, this is all scrap. There's a scrap all over there. So, that will be going all to the scrap yard. I guess I'll just make piles of all the wheels. So, yeah, all the scrap. These wheels, I'm just going to be scrapping them. All those wheels on the scrap. So, I think the only wheels I'm going to keep are these two here. And then the rest is all garbage. Um, this lower control arm for the S10 is trash. There should be another one around here somewhere. So, all that. These spindles here. Um, I think Vern wants those to see if he can get those to work on the Vega. So, that's how he'll do the five lug on the front of it. So, he's going to be getting those off of me. And then, I don't know what to do with this hood, but, yeah, I'm just going to clean up little by little, organize some stuff, and go from there, I guess. Get back to it. Alright, so, we're getting there, slowly but surely, you know. Oh, um, yo, I know it ain't on no Taylor Ray level yet, but check out my Milwaukee game. Yep, got my grinders, impacts. My drill, my right angle. <clears throat> I actually got more. I got, but they're at my job. Um, I got this one here and the short neck one. And then I have an impact driver as well. And then um, I have the right angle impact one as well. So I have three more, but they're at my job. And then my little air compressor thingy. <clears throat> so, yeah. I think I might have the okay to get another big tool from them that I really want because my girl kind of wants it too. So I might be getting the Milwaukee bandsaw. What do you think? I want to build stuff. Who knows, guys? Maybe she'll let me yet. spend 500 bucks on one. <laughs> I know what I want to build yet, but I want to build something. So <laughs> yeah, that's the collection. Obviously, it won't go here. It'll be set up somewhere. But yeah, we got the welders here, the welder here, and then just picking up some tools. And trash going in some bags and stuff like that, but we're getting there, so we'll see what happens. I mean, if you guys don't want to watch this video, I completely understand there's no action going on this one. You're gonna have to stay tuned for the next one where we're gonna actually be digging into this. But this shop was disgusting, I needed to get it cleaned up and everything, so we have more room in here and everything. And so, when they come do the lighting in here, they have ways to move around to fix the lights. I think we need about 10 more. Well, they're not gonna add more strips to it i'm gonna try and get him to put like another one down this area right uh, here I would say at least here yeah or across whatever yeah but i know they're going to be converting them to the brighter lights um that and ac <coughs> that'd be the day um i don't know if i'm gonna go led because i know sometimes led messes with the camera but he says he can make them brighter so whatever because this has a burnt out one here i don't know if you see it on the camera but one of them bulbs Cause here, only got one bulb. This one right there ain't working. This one's real dim, and then there's a another one here that is also not working. And then this whole area is really dark, so I would like to get another strip going across right there to get some brightness. Noise too, no. In case um, a unit gets put in, you drop the door. Mm -hmm. All that. If I can get another one to make these brighter, I'm all right with that one. You know, so. Yeah, I guess we're gonna keep tackling more stuff. Majority of this stuff in here is just garbage and then scrap. You know what I mean? So all this is just scrap other than like a couple little things in there. Um, this thing here is all full of scrap. So just a lot of stuff. But yeah, um, Andrew, if you're watching this, bro, your heart is that you need for your car is sitting right here, bro. Tighten up, doggy. So yeah, get to it. Whoa, what's going on everybody? I know I look different from the last clip. Got my hair did all looking good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we got the homie Dustin up in this thing, you know what I'm saying? 
Um, like I said in an earlier clip, I thought this video was gonna be done. It's been like three days since that last clip you guys saw. Um, it just got late cold and I had my son here and he was getting cranky. So we went home and chilled and everything and just been busy working and stuff. Haven't had time to come back up to the shop. But that news is the homeboy Dustin's moving into the shop with us and yeah, so all the powder coating, all this, we're gonna be taking on more builds and stuff other than just our cars. So like subscribers cars, customer cars of his and mine. So we'll be doing like full Honda builds and stuff like that, maintenance and stuff. We're gonna try and push to make this a full-time business for both of us, where I'm doing YouTube maintenance and working on building cars for customers and subscribers, hopefully. Him with his powder coating and same so with him, you know, customer cars we'll be doing together. So yeah, you guys wanna make that happen? All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, you know? But yeah, so, if anyone needs powder coating, you know? Hit it up, hit it up. So he'll be doing it right here in the shop, our shop now. So yeah, we're just gonna clean this place up a little bit, start getting his stuff in here. And then that means more bills for the channel. And then we'll get shit popping, you know? Hope you guys stick around because big things are about to happen. We're gonna have a nasty GSR on the channel. And you've seen his car already, and we're going full send on the Accord. He told me I ain't going to touch that car unless you go full send on it. So we're doing a fully built F23 in it. I was going to case swap and everything, but I'm looking into it, looking into it. And it's just to the point where I don't want to do it yet, at least not in this car. I'm going to be doing a case swap in the CG, but I want to do it in the four-door. So there will be a case swap CG coming soon. But for now, we're going to do a fully built F23 and that stuff. And you guys already know I have parts. I've reached out to a bunch of companies already. And a couple of them are going to be helping us. Um, Innovative is going to be hooking us up with some mounts and helping us out. So I got a discount code for you guys. Just use CDG fam. You guys want to get mounts from Innovative. Get you guys a pretty good deal on some. And obviously, their link in description. So let me put the camera down and help homeboy out. Guys, how long has it been since you've seen this room this clean? We're going to be getting to this next. Don't worry, but this whole area is cleaned up. I gotta get a dustpan so I can pick up this stuff here. But, yep. Looking good, looking very, very good. And then out here, this is all trash. The section here is cleaned up. You know, <clears throat> some of his stuff's here. Um, this box is going up in the attic. And then I'm gonna be getting a toolbox. So we can organize all the tools and stuff better. Um, yeah, all this over here, minus this block and transmission. All this stuff here is pretty much going to the scrapyard. And then, yeah, just a couple cranks. All this is going up in the attic as well. These are going to be piled up somewhere nicely. All that over there. Um, majority of that's going to the scrap as well. So, yeah, we're getting there. It's looking good, looking good, getting better, getting better, you know? So. Hopefully by the weekend Dustin will have his cars here and stuff. Y'all can see all that. And we can get to getting the content popping out, building these cars for y'all. So you took your engine already to the machine shop, right? Nope. It's still in there? Yeah. He was supposed to take his engine to the machine shop, but it's sitting in his car still. But yeah, so stay tuned y'all. Lots about to go down. Ruben. I got you. <clears throat> so we're keeping this stuff here, that there, and that these boxes here and all this here is scrap um but yeah we got this whole room cleaned out we scrubbed in everything the floor and everything scrubbed in here so um i'm gonna be posting that transmission up this drive shaft i'm probably just gonna throw away i don't think anyone's gonna need it but anyways yeah cleaned up in here so all this here is getting thrown out right now <clears throat> this is going up in the attic and the lip kit and everything for the Accord and all the stuff under is going in the attic. The wheels will be stacked up somewhere in the corner probably. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So, shot's pretty much cleaned up. We're just gonna load up the trash in the cars now. Bring the Accord back in. So hopefully the next video after this, you guys will see some more getting done. And like that guys, look at this. I know, it still looks like a mess. But like I said, all majority of that stuff, they're going in the attic. This stuff's gonna be organized and stuff. The scrap's gonna be leaving. We just gotta wait to put all the shelves up so we can organize all this stuff here. And I wanna thoroughly go through this stuff and see what I wanna keep and what I don't. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna be getting a toolbox and stuff. But all that's gonna be gone. These are gonna be up against the wall and stuff. And a lot of stuff that's on these shelves. The cart is gonna be going in the attic too. 
other than like the tools and stuff. But for the most part, everything's done. You know, a little bit more. So Dustin be moving his stuff in throughout the week and by the weekend, hopefully we'll have almost everything here. And then we can set up the powder coating stuff, things like that. His cars will be here. And we'll make some good ass content for you guys. So yeah, I guess all we got left to do now is put the accord in. We should be good to go. All right guys, the Accord is back in the shot. There y'all go. So, be sure to stay tuned for the next video. Be sure to check out the links down below. And if you're not yet subbed, please do me a favor, hit the sub button. It doesn't cost you guys anything and it does a lot for me. So, that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's just a cleaning video, but it's a very informative video of explaining to you guys what's going down for this car, Dustin, the shop, the channel, powder coating stuff, everything. So there's a lot of information in this video as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy it and everything. And yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Hit that notification button so y'all get notified when we post. And me and Dustin will catch you later. Peace. Peace.